you were saying about be prepared to be flexible. Um, say if someone's got six, six to 12 months of um, room, let's say, um, in terms of finances, be flexible. You might not end up where you initially set out. Mm -hmm. um, but let's say someone was like, you know what, tell me a country that I should start off in. Um, I, I, it's, it, I think it depends on your temperament, bro, to be honest with you. Um, like, like, for example, like when we, when we were, when we were uh, recording for Malaysia, we couldn't even imagine or in, in like anybody would have anything negative to say about Malaysia. But you'd be surprised. I mean, there wasn't a lot of comments, but like people were saying, oh, Malaysia is not an Islamic country because of this, 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 and Malaysia this and Malaysia that. So it's, it's difficult for Omar or myself or anybody else really to say, Gambia is the best place because this, 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 this. Turkey is the best place because of this, 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 this. Like, it depends what eases your heart. When you arrive there and, you, you know, you experience the people, you will know, man. You will know you think, yeah, this, yeah, this is all right. This is all right. We can recommend, I would recommend Egypt and I would recommend Malaysia all day long. Somebody might go to Egypt and think, you stayed here and recommended here. Because that, like the brother was saying, there are places in 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 um in Egypt where we said, especially Nasa City, where you think, but there's donkeys and dogs eating at the same rubbish pile. And there's and obviously in other places in Egypt where it's like, okay, this is heaven on earth, like almost. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, it's not like there's a great distance that separates the two worlds. Yeah. Mm. But what? But the overall thing about Egypt is knowledge. You're able to push your hand out and just touch it. Mm. You know what I mean? Like if you want to learn your Islam privately, somebody coming to your home, you can do it. If you want mm. to travel to a school, you can do it. If you want to be a sheikh, you can be. You know, if you want to be, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, half his Quran, you can be. That the, the when it comes to knowledge in Egypt, it, I don't personally think it can be beaten. Mm. If infrastructure is your thing and stability and be able to get things done and quality of life is your thing, then Malaysia pips Egypt, leaves it at the post standing. It depends what you're looking for. Mm. So I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I think it would be wrong for me, in fact, to recommend this country over that country, over that country, over that country, because my experience based upon what my journey has been up until present day, is going to be different from somebody else who's never left the shores of the UK, for example. Yeah. So that's why I always say that 12 months worth of money, that 12 months worth of money should be used as a fact-finding mission money. Mm. Or, or part of it should be used as a fact-finding and the rest of it should be invested in some type of means of income that can sustain you while you, end, while you possibly could end up traveling the world for the rest of your life. That's as like with my journey at the moment, my family's in Tanzania. So what I've chosen to do, because the, the immigration situation for Tanzania is, is very, very difficult. So until we get that problem sorted, I do three months in the UK and I do three months in Tanzania. So and in the meantime, while I'm here working, I send money home and it's just it's just being banked, 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 banked until I'm until I'm able so Part of my income is to sustain my family. Another part of my income is to build something. I'm going to save up to get, whether it's going to be buy land, get into agriculture, buy property or something. But I might do all that, and I'm full aware of this. I might do that for the next five years. Now be ready to move, and it flops. Mm. This, is the, this is the journey of hijrah. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things. And hopefully, inshallah, I'll be judged, be judged based upon my intention. My intention is to leave here and go there. Yeah. Where, where Allah decides to guide me or take me during that journey is up to him. Mm. I just hope that I get rewarded for the effort that I've made to please him. Khalas. Because that's what it's about at the end of the day, bro. Mm. Mashallah. Yeah, that was a sick answer, you know. Because... You're right, it's easy to give the generic advice, but that's a very nuanced answer, and it's true. Essentially, it, it, you're right, in terms of delineating between those who prefer 
um, say a young person who just wants to study, then mm. it might be because I think Medina to Nasser is where like they have the Arabic centers and, and yes, whatnot, exactly. isn't it? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So they might be willing to like go through the trenches and just learn the not, but then there's someone else who's very um meticulous they have that kind of conscientious personality where they're tidy and like you know how they are so then for them they'd be attracted by the infrastructure and things getting done on time and stuff like that that you might find in a different country yeah yeah definitely okay